In this video, let us uh, solve problems by applying trigonometry. We've got a problem here which reads like this. A tree 12 meters high is broken by the wind in such a way that its top touches the ground and makes an angle 60 degrees with the ground. What height from the bottom the tree is broken by the wind? Alright, so we've got a question now which needs to be converted to a diagram you know, for further solving. So let us first uh, make a diagram by using this question. Let's see what is the data given. The first one we've got is a tree is 12 meters high, right? So we need to draw a tree now. Just represent a tree here by the, say, this line. Let's say this is a tree which is 12 meters high. And that is broken by the wind in such a way that its top touches the ground and makes an angle 60 degrees with the ground. Now, let's say, you know, it breaks somewhere at this point, right? And then this top touches the ground here, say something like this, right? And then we've got a, we've got the ground here. And then it says that it makes an angle 60 degrees with the ground. This is that 60 degrees. And now at what height from the bottom the tree is broken by the wind? So we need to find out this height here, right? Now, the tree was 12 meters high overall. So, it is broken at some point. We don't know exactly at what point has it broken. But then, once it breaks, the top touches the ground at 60 degrees. All right, let's name the diagram quickly. So, let this point be O and let the tree be AB. And the point at which it breaks is C. And now, let us assume the height from which the tree broke as x. So if AC is, is x, BC should be 12 minus x, right? Because the total tree is 12 meters and then we've got to find this x. So if you subtract x from 12, it's going to be 12 minus x. So now what is that 12 minus x? That 12 minus x is this one because that's come down to the ground like this. So like this. Yes. So now we have to find x. We've got the hypotenuse and we don't have anything on the ground that is OA. So the data given here is the angle. We've got the angle to be 60 degrees and then we've got the height of the tree as 12 meters and then we've got our unknown is x or usually this is the opposite right so let's take that as opposite so we've got opposite as x and then we've got the hypotenuse as 12 minus x so the things that are involved here is the angle and the opposite and the hypotenuse so the first thing that should come to your mind is sine out of sine cos and tan right now we've got sine theta straight away here. Sine theta is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse. So sine, the theta is 60 degrees. So we've got sine 60 here, which is equal to the opposite is x. And then the hypotenuse is 12 minus x. So sine 60, as we know, is root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2 equals x by 12 minus x. So that's all. This is the problem. Now, from here, whatever we do is, you know, simple mathematical operation. But as far as using trigonometry is concerned, this is it. You know, if you can, if you can work out till here, it's done. So all you have to do from this point is just solve for x, which is a very, very easy step from here. So we've got root 3 by 2 equals now cross multiply it. We've got root 3 multiplied by 12 minus x equated to 2 multiplied by x. So you've got 12 times root 3 minus x times root 3 equals 2x. So now let's group. We've got 12 root 3 equals 2x plus x root 3. Another grouping here, take out x as common and then you've got 2 plus root 3. So x equals 12 root 3 over 2 plus root 3. So you know what you have to do when you've got a number with a square root in the denominator of a fraction, right? You have to 
rationalize it. So we've rationalized plenty before. So all you have to do is take the denominator and multiply to the numerator and the denominator with the sign changed. So you've got 12 root 3 over 2 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 minus root 3 over 2 minus root 3, which is solving this, we get 12 root 3 into 2 minus root 3 over 1. That's because 2 plus root 3 times 2 minus root 3 is uh, 4 minus 3, which is 1. So yeah, let's multiply 12 root 3 into 2 and then 12 root 3 into root 3. So 12 root 3 into 2 is 24 root 3 and 12 root 3 multiplied by negative root 3 is negative 12 root 3 times root 3 is 3. So that becomes 12 into 3 and that becomes 36. So 24 root 3 minus 36. Now we know what is root 3, right? So root 3 is 1.732. So 24 times 1.732 minus 36. 24 times 1.732 gives us 41.568. And subtract 36 from that. And you get 5.568 meters. So here we are. The height from which the tree got broke by the wind is 5.568 meters. So the x here is nothing but 5.568 meters. Alright, so this concludes this video. I will see you in the forthcoming videos with more such problems.